I'm Dominic Prevatera and I went to St. Joseph's Gregory Terrace. My name is Adeline Luong and I attended Brisbane State High School in Year 12. My name is Maya Lamont and I attended Indrapilly State High School in Year 12. My name is Samuel Wong and I attended Brisbane Grammar School in Year 12. My name is Phoebe McAuliffe and I attended St. Aidan's Anglican Girls School. I'm Grace Nakamura and I went to Lord's Hill College. I'm Jaden Webster and I went to Maghavad State High School. I'm Alec Walsh and I went to Kilcoy State High School. My name is Max Orchard and I attended Grace Lutheran College in Year 12. My name is Ava Disney and I attended St. Rita's College in Year 12. In 2019, I plan to study a Bachelor of Biomedical Science at the University of Queensland. I plan to start studying a Bachelor of Medical Science at Griffith University. My plans for 2019 are to study a Bachelor of Arts and Bachelor of Laws at the University of Queensland within the arts component studying politics and Spanish. For 2019, I plan to study a Bachelor of Medical Science at Griffith University. In 2019, I'm moving down to Sydney to study a Bachelor of Mining Engineering at UNSW. I'm doing this on an industry scholarship. I'm planning on studying a Bachelor of Journalism, Bachelor of Arts at University of Queensland. In 2019, I plan on studying the Bachelor of Advanced Science at UQ, either majoring in chemistry or physics. My plans for 2019 are to just study my Bachelor of Engineering at QT. In 2019, I'm planning to study a Bachelor of Advanced Science at the University of Queensland. My plans for 2019 are to start my Bachelor of Science at the University of Queensland. I'm looking forward to the challenges that uni will pose. I'm looking forward to university and the new challenges that it will bring. I'm most looking forward to the independent lifestyle of university. The thing I'm looking forward to the most about this year is simply having um, a different timetable and all the different opportunities that I'll be able to have within university life. What I'm most looking forward to is moving into college and the social opportunities that will afford me. I'm looking forward to just expanding my horizons, meeting new people and the uni social life. I look forward mostly to just studying science and getting back into the groove of working academically again as that's what I enjoyed most at high school. I'm most looking forward to the city lifestyle. I'm looking forward to expanding my horizons and getting to meet new people that have similar interests to me. I'm most looking forward to university life and being able to experience a broad range of subjects and finding something I'm passionate about. My career goals are to study medicine, in what particular field I'm not entirely sure, but excited to see where it takes me. My career goals are to continue studying the Bachelor of Medical Science and then progress into the Doctor of Medicine where I can specialise and hopefully become a surgeon. I'm not entirely sure, but currently um, my career goals are to work in law or in government. Um, possibly in some uh, sector of government with an environmental focus uh, because I'd really like to make a difference in that area. My career goal is to find a specialisation of medicine that will challenge me daily. My career goals is to work in one of the really big mining companies like BHP or Rio Tinto. I think that the resources that they will have will be absolutely wonderful and I'm really excited for that opportunity. My career goals, I'm not quite sure at the moment, but I do hope one day to have my own television or radio show, be someone along the art lines of um, Aussie icon Tim Minchin. Hopefully, as a career goal, by the end of university, I plan on getting into research science and either chemistry or physics again, as I want to. That's probably my preferred career goal, and I don't really know what I'll do apart from that. My career goals are to eventually work in the medical engineering field, developing bionics, prosthetic limbs and organs. Um, my career goals are I'd love to become an academic in the future and that would require doing completing a higher research degree. So after I do that, I'll just see where that takes me. At the moment, I don't have any specific career goals, but my goal for this year at university is to find something I'm passionate about in a specific field and hopefully a career can stem from there. The person who inspires me most would probably have to be my grandfather who was a general physician up in North Queensland, highly respected and worked there for nearly all of his career and then once in retired became a teacher for medical students at JCU. I am inspired by my church youth leaders who are dedicated to helping others, who are really passionate for helping others and show that they have a big heart. I'm inspired by a lot of people, but recently I've been really inspired by the young people of my generation um, around the world who are really fighting for positive change, particularly um, those students who have 
organised the school strike for climate action because I think that's a very important cause. My chemistry teacher, Miss Grice, has always been a great source of inspiration for me. She's been teaching since the Stone Age and has never once considered retirement. My little brother Connor died from cancer when he was three and he is my biggest inspiration. He's taught me what's important in life, family over material possessions or achievements even and that relationships with other people are incredibly important. He has mantras like Brave Me that he would say before he got needles and I use those to help me through tough times. Uh, I'm inspired by my friends. They're so supportive, compassionate and just such wonderful people that inspire me to be a better person myself. I'm probably inspired most by my friends, family and teachers, but all three as they all inspire me in each of their own separate ways based on how I interact with them and how I'm around with them. I'm inspired by innovators such as Elon Musk and Steve Jobs who have built their companies from the ground up and have made an actual difference in this world. I'm inspired by my parents because they are hardworking, they persevere and they're motivated in their occupations. I'm inspired by anyone, whether I know them or not, who I can see is striving towards their goals and dreams. The greatest challenge that faces me at the moment is getting into my degree in medicine because I was unable to get direct entry so I'll have to work hard to over the next few years to actually get in and then uh, impact over the next 10 years I'm not entirely sure but excited. I think the greatest challenges in my chosen profession would be dealing with people because people are all different but I also hope that in the next 10 years I'll be able to go on some medical missions trips to help people in impoverished nations. Well, I think there'll probably be a lot of challenges in my chosen profession, but I think the main one for me will be just maintaining a good work-life balance and making so sure that I still take time for myself outside of my career. And I want to have a really positive impact um, on the world over the next 10 years, hopefully, and be able to make a difference in people's lives. I think the greatest challenge in a profession like medicine is staying relevant in a technologically dependent society. I think one of the greatest challenges in the mining industry is the misinformation and misunderstanding that surrounds it. People are pushing for renewable energy, and while I completely understand that, um, mining isn't the enemy. If we want to make solar panels, we need to dig up the metals. And so one of the ways I'd like to have an impact on my industry is to approach that misunderstanding and better the public's education surrounding it. The greatest challenge in journalism, I find, will be finding a job. But I think as a profession, it's always evolving and there'll always be a need for storytellers and entertainers. Um, in 10 years, I hope to be someone who creates stories that people enjoy and hopefully use my position to help others. I'm hoping to try and finish uni with a PhD and that might be a challenge in itself, getting that far and completing all that. And then after that, that's another challenge might also be finding a job in research science and all that kind of stuff. But, and I'm not really sure what kind of impact I'd make in the next 10 years. The greatest challenge in my profession, I think, will be to actually find a job or failing at starting my own company. And long term, I just want to help people improve their own lives. There are many great unsolved problems in mathematics, which is my field of interest. For example, the Clay Institute Millennium Problems. And I hope that in the next 10 years, I can help contribute to a solution to one of these problems. My greatest challenge at the moment is finding a career path that I would like to take. However, wherever my career path lies, I would like to hope that in 10 years, I'm making a difference in the world. When I found out that I'd won a QC achievement award, I was at a concert with my sister and it was really exciting to get the news from mum. When I found out I won a QC achievement award, I was quite surprised because I looked through the requirements beforehand and didn't think I would get one. When I found out I'd won a QC achievement award, at first I was a little confused, but once I read about it and I found out what it was and how few people had received one, I was very excited and it was definitely a good feeling. When I found out I'd won a QC Achievement Award, I was taken completely by surprise, but I was privileged to have won such an award. When I found out I won a QC Achievement Award, I was extremely excited. The Ducks of my school last year also won one, so I did know about this prestigious award and it was a wonderful feeling. When I found out I won the QC Achievement Award, I was pleasantly surprised. I'd been on holiday and I came back to a stack of mail and it was like early Christmas. When I first found out I'd won it, I was confused as first as to what the letter was and what it had inside, but then when I opened it and read it, I was pretty excited to be receiving the award that I got. When I found out I won a QC Achievement Award, I was very surprised because I didn't think I had a chance of receiving such a prestigious award. When I first found out I'd won a QC Achievement Award, I was quite shocked. 
I was just happy that I got a good OP and I wasn't really expecting anything else in the mail. When I found out I'd won a QCE Achievement Award, I was in a state of disbelief, but I was also very excited and honoured.